name is Jose Melendez Jr., executive chef at Boa Steakhouse, West Hollywood. I got into cooking, uh, I think, through the family. Mom and dad had two jobs, right, both of them. So as a young man, uh, you kind of raise yourself. Uh, at about age of nine, I pretty much didn't have, you know, grandparents were gone already. They had passed and stuff like that. Uh, my older brothers were working, had their own kids. Uh, so I was the youngest of, you know, three. Um, uh, they bought me a little pancake griddle, you know, the plug-in one. And uh, we went and bought some frozen hamburger patties, man. And I would uh, make those, uh, you know, like Eddie Murphy made that joke about the Wonder Bread and the, and the, and the big patty. That was me, man, making hamburgers out of the little griddle flat top with uh, Wonder Bread. I think it's just like um, looking forward to always uh, family members coming over to cook. So it just translates into like always cooking. Like uncle was made for making the whole pig. Another uncle was made, was known for making the, the venison. My mom was known for making her beans and her tortillas. And then my aunt was known for making her, her cakes and her pies and all that. So everyone kind of has, so you kind of look forward to that as a kid, who was coming over to cook and what I was going to get my hands in. Our steak is different due to the way we age it. Most people do 28 days, 30 days, we do 40. What it does is it makes it a little bit more nuttier. It's almost like uh, the reduction of a sauce, right? You take all the water out, so it's just more like of a glass. Same thing, all the water comes out of the, of the New York, and then it's just now all beef. So the, the flavor is more intensified. And I think the way our, our, you know, we have a broiler that's, you know, 1700 degrees and we make this killer red wine butter that we based our steaks with, you know, that I just gave up my secret right there. Yeah. We'd have to kill you afterwards. What do you, what, why you have to kill me? <laughs> no, because of the secret of the sauce, you know. It's, to be honest with you, for our rubs and sauces, I mean, we don't even need them. The steak's so good that, you know, but we do it to accommodate everybody. And the, the cool thing about our sauce is that we make them every day. So like from the blue cheese cream, to your creamy horseradish, to your cabinet sauce, to the J1 sauce, which is our signature steak sauce, to uh, the Brunei's, you know, that gets done 20 minutes before we open. There's times where, where, where I'll get creative with the guys and be like, okay, tonight we're not gonna order stuff. We're gonna come in and what, what we have inside, we're gonna get creative with what we have. And you kind of get the juices flowing. You kind of become creative within a realm of what you don't have. So that's kind of the fun part where I'll, I'll challenge the chefs here and there to see what we can come up with. Sometimes you see what's kind of cool what we come up with sometimes. Mm -hmm.